Wild Talents, by Charles Hoyfort, Chapter 31c. This scene of an attempted execution dissolved, like a dream picture. The newspaper men faded away, or burst away. The newspaper men ran out into the streets of Exeter. In the streets, they ran, shouting the news of the man who could not be hanged. The sheriff, who had tried hard to be a real sheriff, went to pieces. He'd do this about it, and then he'd do that about it, and then take him away. He communicated with the Home Secretary. There was something about all this that so shook the Home Secretary that he authorized a delay. The matter was debated in the House of Commons, where some of the members denounced the proposed defeat of justice by superstition. Nevertheless the execution was attempted again. Lee's sentence was commuted to life imprisonment, but he was released in December, 1907. His story was retold in the newspapers of that time. I take from Lloyd's Weekly News, London, January 5, 1908. I have tried to think of a conventional explanation. In the case of John Lee, all attempts fail. He hadn't a dollar. There may be some commonplace explanation that I have not thought of. But my notion is that the explanation that I have thought of will someday be considered as commonplace as are now regarded the impenetrable mysteries of electricity and radioactivity.